Are you a student who is inclined towards research but don't want to get into PhD right away? Well, there is a special course, special degree designed just for you and that is MS by Research. And today we are going to see about MS by Research in India, the truths and facts. I am Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. So what are we going to see today? Today we are first going to see what is this MS by Research. Second. How is this degree different from a regular master's degree? Third, how is it different from a PhD degree? Fourth, who should go for MS by research? Fifth, how will this degree help me in getting into PhD? And last, how will this degree help me find a job? Well, let's start. Now, what is MS by research? First of all, it's a research heavy degree. So basically here, like regular masters, this is not just coursework, but it is more inclined towards research. It is officially a two years degree, but you may take longer. You may extend it till three years because as we said, it's a research degree and your publication and everything, it can take up time. So it can extend towards three years as well. Next, it's generally done after completing your four years bachelor's course so like btech or be but if you have if you have a bse which is a three years course then you will have to do msc and then come to ms by research because four years of an undergraduation is required to get into ms by research next it is regarded as the pilot show for your long-term research career like how in television series we have a pilot episode just like that in research we have a pilot degree called ms by research and this particular degree will help you test your appetite for research not everybody can get into research not everybody would like research so this particular degree helps you identify yourself whether you have the appetite for research or not now how is ms by research different than a regular master's degree well first and foremost as we already talked about regular master's degree would more be inclined towards theory whereas your ms by research is more towards research orientation Having said that, doesn't mean that your regular master's degree will not have research. Obviously, you will have your project semesters that uh, you will have to be doing and that involves research and your MS by research as well will have your theory, uh, theory courses that you will have to complete. Secondly, it's about the entrance examination. So in your regular master, say for example, MTech. So there are these exams like GATE that you have to give to enter uh, into MTech. Uh, whereas for MS by research, in most of the universities, it's the university's entrance exam that you have to give, followed by the interview that you have to face to get into MS by research. And here as well, just like a PhD, you will have to talk to your guide and you will have to see if you are, uh, your research topic is inclined towards your guide. So this is how you enter into an MS by research in most of the universities. Next, it's about the number of years. Like we have already discussed for MS by research, it can take somewhere up to two to three years, officially two years, but it can take up to three years as well. But for your regular master's degree, there is a fixed amount of years that it takes, that is two years. Third is the number of courses. So because your regular master's degree is a theory heavy uh, degree so almost for around two to three semesters you will have theory courses whereas in your ms by research you will have your theory courses only for one or two semesters next whether the the degree is research or job oriented so your regular master's degree will mostly be job oriented you will have the skill sets and the information required to help you land a job whereas your ms by research is more inclined towards a research career and then of course it's publications so because this is a research oriented uh, degree many of the universities mandate at least one uh, paper publication in a reputed journal however in your regular master's degree most of the universities do not mandate this if you have it it's well and good but it's not mandatory in most of the universities now having said this having said that ms by research is more research oriented than how is it different from a PhD? Let's see. How is MS by research different from a PhD degree? Well, first of all, 
as we saw ms by research it is a shorter duration it is a masters degree that you get so the research problem that you focus on will be smaller as compared to a phd research proposal right that's your first point second is the number of years number of years for phd is almost 4 to 5 however for your ms by degree it's 2 to 3 next is the number of publication so as we already saw that publication is mandatory in most of the universities for ms by research while for ms by research it, it is just one publication that might be required but for your phd it could be around two publications hence that is where the difference about the number of publications come in the third is about the number of courses so in your ms by research uh, you might have less a number of courses coursework as compared to phd next yes ms by research is a subset of phd is what you can say it's basically a mini phd so who should go for ms by research that's the next big question that we are going to answer first it's for any undergrad student who is inclined towards research and who wants to explore this particular research field who wants to know what are the skill sets that's required what are the techniques that's needed what so how does it happen how does publication happen how do you do literature review and all of that so if you want to have a flavor of how research happens then ms by research is where you have to go second if you need time to choose a career path for example you are interested in research but you are not sure if you really want to go to phd and make your career out of it so you need some time to think about it meanwhile you can also get a degree and get to know what exactly happens in the research field so this is how this particular degree is very special for you third if you're confused about your topic of research say for example i know i want to do research and i am made for it but i don't know what topic to choose well yes ms by research is where you have to go because here you will be exploring a lot of labs a lot of collaborations you will get exposed to a lot of research problem that people are solving and that way you will narrow down into your interest and that is where in phd or in your research career it will help you choose a topic that you want to excel in next terminal research experience well i said it is the start of your research experience well it could also be a terminal research experience for people who don't want research as your career but you want to have the flavor of research you want to have done research in some time in your careers then this can be a good opportunity for you where you start as well as end your research career next for somebody who is working in an industry and you have a very critical industrial research question that you want to answer then this particular degree is for you you can join this degree and take up this industrial question that you want to solve and then you solve it you one get a degree and two you have solved your research question as well next how will ms by research help me for phd well you want to get into phd you've done your ms by research now how is this going to help you in your phd well one so is about migration of course so many universities in india have this option where you can migrate your course like for example you're doing your ms by research you're almost going to complete it you've solved your research problem you have a publication in hand and you can migrate this program into a phd so here your uh, what you'll have to do is you have to extend your research work so that you get the uh, phd research problem also solved and you can also migrate your publication requirement so this is one very good uh, additional requirement in most of the universities second is about the research experience so obviously you have learned a lot of skill set that's required uh, in the research area Uh, by doing your ms by research so this comes very handy in your phd third is the publication now because as we already talked about many universities have this mandatory publication so this publication is going to help you in your cv and land a really good um, university to do your phd next clarity on your research problem like we just talked about if you're confused as to what to do in your phd but you've done your ms by research then you exactly know where and what you want to solve and what is your passion so that's how your ms by research is going to help in your research career or phd next 
how is ms by research going to help me land a job well i don't want i did my ms by research but i i found out i don't have that appetite for research maybe i don't want to do research but will i still get a job well it's it's a yes let's see how because so you've done your ms by research you would have identified a lot of people working on a lot of problems and you would have seen the trend you have to, you would have seen what the market wants and that is how it will help you find identify the important problems in society today and it will help you to focus yourself in the right direction in your job search so that is one second about r&d work so in most of the uh, biotechnology companies you have r&d work is given the most importance and because you have a research background you will very well fit into r&d that is research and development team third you have research experience as well as a publication and this looks very good on your cv trust me your interviewers are going to be very impressed about the fact that you have a publication and your research experience and the skill sets that is required for the job next is about the skills so few specific skills as a researcher that you will grab are data analysis and scientific reporting so these two are few skill sets that's necessary for any biological uh, life science job that you land in hence these skills come very handy when you take up a job so yes ms by research can also help you get a job that is it for today's topic if you want any more information on ms by research please tell us down in the comment section thank you so much for your time see you until next video